The first thing you have to do is you have to ruin the ridiculously expensive paint job with some sandpaper. Never eliminate direct on color, what you need is the raw carbon fiber. I recommend 320 grit, so use the sandpaper, sand down the color, but I like it a bit faster, cause I'm using my blaster. Yeah, that is what it should look like when you're done with sanding. From now on we have to wear rubber gloves because we need a super clean surface and to clean the frame we can use rubbing alcohol and a napkin out of the cat pot. And that's very simple. We have to clean the inside and the outside of the frame using the rubbing alcohol. So be careful, take your time, clean the complete area where you like to laminate the carbon fiber also the inside. And when we've done that, it's time to cut the new carbon fibers. The frame uses 3K woven carbon fiber in the area we like to patch, so I decided to use the 3K as well. But before we can cut the carbon, we have to make some stencils. So let's take some measurements and let's do a stencil in the exact same size of the 3K patch. And these are all the pieces we need for the first patch on the inside of the frame. Two pieces of 3K woven carbon fiber, a piece of peel ply, a piece of woven absorber, and a piece from an old plastic bag. And next I have to mix the resin, so I'm using some of these plastic cups, some wooden sticks, and the resin of course, and what I'm using is an epoxy resin which is certified to build aeroplanes, so that's the stuff you have to use. And the mixing ratio is 10 to 4, 10 parts of the resin, 4 parts of the hardener, and that's what I have to mix. What's also very important is to mix the resin very well and to put it in another cup, because there's a chance that there's unmixed resin in the edges of the cup, and to avoid that, Put it in a second one, so you are safe from any unmixed resin. Do it like so, and let it drip in another cup. Let's mount the patch, and I start with the piece of plastic bag, the woven absorber on top, on top the peel ply, and on top of this stack, the first layer of the woven carbon fiber. And I'm using a brush to apply the resin. What we need now is pressure in the frame to press the patch against the frame and to do that I'm using a ball bladder, I can put it in the frame, I use a ball pump to apply the pressure and that's the trick. Let's check this and be quiet. Yes we have enough pressure, the patch is pressed against the frame. But we have the gap of the thickness of the frame and what I like to do is I like to fill this gap with shredded carbon fibers. So what I'm doing is I'm adding these carbon fibers to my epoxy resin to create a kind of putty. I have to mix it again and with this putty I like to fill the gap. And I've created the second patch in the same way like before, which I like to apply on top, like so. And the last thing I have to do is, I have to apply also pressure from the outside. Applying pressure from the outside is a bit tricky if you don't have a huge vacuum back and the vacuum, but I like to show you a little trick. What I'm using is thin sheet metal like this. You can use also credit cards because they are bendable, so you can apply it in the same shape as the frame. And what I'm also using is a clamp to clamp the sheet metal and that's all. I 
I've popped the frame in an oven at 60 degrees Celsius and let the resin cure for 12 hours. If you don't have an oven, no problem. Just let the resin cure for maybe one or two days at room temperature. That's also fine. But now let's check what we got. And the last thing I'm doing is I'm using a rotary to smooth the edges of my patch. 120 grit on the rotary, but you have to wear a respirator when working with carbon fibers because they are toxic for your lungs. So wear a respirator if you stand carbon fibers. That's it. My patch is done. Ready for some primers and colors, but that's another story and another video. Just check all my custom painting videos on carbon bikes if you are interested. And See you in the next one. Goodbye.